Suppose you're given two plain equations and you have to find the equation for the line that's intersecting the two. Well, there are many ways to do this. However, let's find uh, something that uses very basic principles. Uh, the very basic principle I'm referring to is the fact that if you have two points, there's only a single line passing through it. So let's say if you have any, so let me just give you a brief example uh, to, to demonstrate what I mean. So let's say you have 1, 2, 3 as one point and 0, 1, negative 1 as another point. I want an equation of line that passes th through these two. Well, uh, one thing you can do is you can subtract and that gives you 4, 1, and 1, 1, 4. And because this is like terminal minus initial, if this point is 0, 1, negative 1, and this point is 1, 2, 3, then the vector is given by 1, 1, 4. So th this is your direction of the line. So that's your, that's your direction vector. And uh, you just have to pick one of the numbers. I'll just choose this one. So uh, x, y, z could be written as uh, it starts at 0, 1, negative 1, 0, comma, 1, comma, negative 1. And the direction is 1t, 1t, and 4t. Okay? So 1, 1, 4 is the direction vector. 0, comma, 1, comma, negative 1 is the point where the moving particle is at when t is 0. Right? So uh, this parametric equation gives you the uh, the trajectory of a moving particle on this line. So that's why this is called a line equation. Right. So that was a brief example. Let's try to see how we can do that for here. Uh, so uh, I see that x plus z is equal to 0, and I have x and z here. So uh, one thing you can do is uh, just solve for one of them. z is equal to negative x plug it back in here and we get that uh, x plus y plus negative x equals to 0 no equals to 8 so y must be 8 right and then if y is 8 uh, what about what, x and z well what you have to realize is that we have three unknowns x y and z and you have just two equations so uh, there are infinitely many solutions of, of the, these two equations. And that's a good thing because uh, we need at, at least two points so that we can build a line passing through the, the two things. See, if you have one plane, another plane, and they intersect here, then there will be infinitely many points on here that would satisfy both equations, right? And because we're trying to find the equation of this intersecting line, we just need to figure out one point and another point. Uh, if you just know two points of a line, then you can use this procedure to find the equation of the line. Okay, So let's continue. So uh, we have x plus z equal to 0. And you just have to come up with examples. So I say when you have 0, comma, a, comma, 0, that's going to satisfy both. When, when x is 0 and z is 0, of course, their sum is 0. And 0 plus 8 plus 0 is 8. So this satisfies both. So that's a point on the intersecting line. Another possible solution of x plus z equal to 0 would be 1 and negative 1. Right? So if I put 1, 8, negative 1, this also satisfies both of the equations. Now that we have uh, two points, all you have to do now is just to do the same exact procedure, subtract. So that's your direction vector and let's say this is your initial position and we have x y z equals 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 0 8 0 and negative 1 t plus 0 t uh, plus 1 t as the solution okay as a possible solution now we can simplify this and say uh, the parametric line equation is x equals to negative t, y is equal to 8, and z equals to t. Or another way people write is to use a vector form. 
I write this as a vector form. Uh, this and then negative t, eight comma t, just like this. Okay. Um, so that this this is just one example. Let me show you another example, and maybe after this it's a lot easier. So again, we have just two planes, so there should be infinitely many points satisfying both. And uh, let's just come up with an example where x is zero. Okay. Uh, because this is underdetermined, there are many many solutions uh, satisfying both. There should be one that satisfies this equation with x equal to zero. Uh, if that's true, then I get two y minus z equals to one, and negative y plus z equals to three. Oh, that's perfect because now I can add them, and I get just y equals to four. If y is four plug that back in here and I get z equals to 3 plus y which means it's uh, 7. Okay, so I know that 0 comma 4 comma 7 is a solution. Right? Um, <clears throat> now let's just now pick another value for x. Okay, uh, You could also do something like this. You can, you can just say y equals to 0 and see if uh, there's another solution. And uh, so there are many different ways to do it. I'll just put x equals to 1, because if I do that, then subtracting 1 both sides, this gives you 2y minus z equals to 0. And uh, 1, 2, OK, so that's going to be negative y plus z equals to 1. OK, so all I did was I took x as 1, so this is 1. That's 1. Subtracting 1 both sides gives you 0. Subtracting 2 both sides gives you 1. Okay. So I have this. I'm just going to add them because that's then the z's will cancel and you get y equals to 1. Again, uh, plug it in here. You get negative 1 plus z equals to 1. So z must be 2. So in this case, <coughs> 1, comma, 1, comma 2 is another point on the line. And then you do the same exact procedure. Subtract. You get 1, negative 3, negative 5 as your direction vector x, y, z would now be just take either one of these points. I'll choose this one. You could choose the other one too. 1, 1, 2. And then you get uh, 1t minus 3t minus 5t. And that's it. Or written in the vector form, it would be 1 plus t, 1 minus 3t, 2 minus 5t. Okay. 